I just wanna live my life Get a little wrong, but don't forgive my right This is not a song, this is just my energy I'm trying to find serenity I just wanna live my life Did a little wrong, but don't forgive my right This is not a song, this is just my energy I'm trying to find serenity Love, show it to them and they don't show it back Hate to see that you the one that's doing that Fact Everybody off for self uh-huh. with a mouth full of lies. So I'm Music is very me. spiritual because Lucifer was very spiritual. He yes, ain't you he up was. music. Yes, oh, he was. could you Lucifer. imagine? Yes, and guess what Lucifer's um music is today? Rap music, right? I did a show. It's been about three years, and it's called the um 27 Club. And I talked about Robert Johnson. And he went to 441. And that's a road that goes into uh, um, Mississippi. And he went to the prom- to the crossroads. Because when he was in town, he couldn't play worth nothing. And he went out, somebody told him, go on out there, 441. They say he met Lucifer, because when he came back, they say, Robert can play. <laughs> And he's the first one in this in the 27 club. He one of he, one of the first ones that sold their soul and got into the 27 club. It's a list of it's a list of them, and I did a countdown on it. Like Labor Day weekend, like three years ago. It's still up. Um, and rumors and lies. And I counted them down. Like, of course, I made it my top 10, you know. And I have other people who died at age 27. It's people who are alleged to have sold their soul for fortune and fame. Okay. Um, Jimi Hendrix. He died at age 27. Jim Morrison. He died at age 27. Janis Joplin. She died at age 27. Hendrix and Joplin have something in common. Um, It's 16 years, 16 days apart. Both of them died. 16 years apart. Um, Hendrix died before Joplin. Um, Amy Winehouse, she was in the 20s, she was died at age 27. She in the 27 club. Um, it's been some other people since then. Like I said, I, I can't keep up with all that stuff because I'm, if I was still doing rumors and lies on a regular basis, I could tell you, but that was the last time I did it. But it's some other people as well. Kurt Cobain, okay. He was 27 as well. All of these people that I named were 27 years old. Now, if you say Phyllis Simon died at 27, I'm like, no, oh, no, 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 no. She died of a drug overdose. No, she way older than that. No, uh-uh. Michael Jackson was like 57. No, but he's not in that club. These people are in, in they were 27 years old. Michael Jackson was like, what, 49, 50, something like that when he died? He died June 25th, 2009. 2009, yeah. What was you doing <laughs> that day when Michael Jackson died? Oh, what was I doing? I was taking my manager's test and I got out of class and somebody, people start calling me, Michael Jackson died, Michael Jackson died. And I'm like, y'all people crazy. Y'all know that man they did. They say, yes, he is, they did. And I turned on the radio and then I heard it. I'm like, oh, wow. How did you feel? I, I mean, I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. But it, I mean, I just kind of felt like it was coming anyway. I'm just going to like make this public. I've never done this before, but um, I had, this was like, um, yeah, it's been 17 years. So Amy been, Amy been gone, not Amy. Um, this lady was named Laura Granigan, all right? And um, I was getting ready to... Uh, Go on my IOE. Uh, IOE is a, um, a international opportunity experience. So it's a flight that's going to go overseas and you're a flight attendant and they check you off for international um, protocol. And I was going to Guadalajara, Mexico, and I was staying with my girlfriend and we were like barbecuing and um, Laura, 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 Laura Brannigan's song was playing and it was like uh, August it was like August 25th, 2004. The song was playing on the radio. And um, her song was called Gloria. And um, I said, I don't like, I like that song, but I like um, 
this other song. And she says, well, what is the name of the other song? I said, the other song is um, Solitary. And um, we just started talking about Laura Brannigan. So um, I said, well, I need to go to sleep because I got I got an early show. When I say show, you have to show an hour ahead of your flight. So I got up and she came into the room and she said, how did you know? I said, no, what? What are you talking about? She said, Laura Brannigan. I said, what about her? She said, she did. I said, what do you mean she's dead? Rose, she died. She died last night. I said, we was talking about her. She said, she said, I know. She died of an aneurysm. I never forgot that. It was August 26, 2004. I never forgot it. That's called I a never, premonition. You know what I'm I don't saying? know. Uh, well, that's not the first time something like that happened, right? It's not the first time something not like that Not with me. Not happened. with me. I have stuff like that happen to me. Uh, not frequently, but I do have stuff like that that happened to me. And I always... I said, what is that? Does that make me some kind of freak or something? Can you break Go that ahead. down for the audience? Does break... this kind of stuff happen to people all the time? Yes, so the it other does. Time, yes, it does. But it's it crazy. But it's crazy. The other it's, time... It's it not July... crazy when you think about it. Okay, I'm telling uh, you this other time. Okay, the other time was July 23rd, 2011. Okay? I love to go out to karaoke. All right? And it was on the 23rd. Well, it really was the 22nd. It was the night of the 22nd. And um, I went to karaoke. And um, the karaoke guy says, what do you want to sing tonight? You always sing everything about those eyes. Do you want to sing Sad Eyes by Robert John? Do you want to sing My Eyes Adore You by Frankie Valley? And um, he said, what do you want to sing? You got something <laughs> with the eyes. I said, no, I don't want to sing about the eyes tonight. I want to sing um, Amy Winehouse. And he says, why do you want to sing? You want to sing Rehab? I said, nope, I don't want to sing Rehab. I want to sing Love is a Hurting Thing by Amy Winehouse. He said, I don't know what I have yet. You sure you don't want to see, um, sing Rehab? I said, nope, I don't want to sing that. He said, I'm going to have to look for that one. And he found it. And I went up and I sung it and everybody clapped and whatever. And we went home and we ate something and the guy I was with at the time, he went on and went to um, work. And um, I was asleep and he called and woke me up. He said the same thing my girlfriend said. He said, you know what you sung last night? I said, yeah, I sung Amy Winehouse. He said, well, I got something to tell you. He said, I don't know how you know it. He said, you know, England eight hours ahead of time. I said, yeah, why? He said, well, she did. I said, you lying. He said, no, I'm serious. <laughs> she did. I'm like, you lying. He said, you don't believe me? Go look on the internet. And sure enough, <laughs> I looked on the internet and there it was. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? And the strange thing is, it's my girlfriend's birthday, July 23rd. And I called her. She said, oh, I guess we'll never forget her, will we? I said, I guess not. <laughs> so, yeah, stuff like that happened to me all the time. This last time was in April. That was crazy. It was April the 9th of this year. And um, I was on the live just like this. I was on the live. And um, I was on the live with this um, other YouTuber. And um, he was asking me about um, DMX. And um, he was saying, DMX ain't dead. I said, yes, he is. He is dead. And um, I said, this is not the day's the ninth. I said, the day's the ninth. I said, it's a nine, but it's a six. And um, I, uh, I don't like really profess to be a big... Uh, Gematria person, but Gematria is the study of numbers, okay? And the numbers give a message behind the frequencies. So um, I just mentioned to him, you know, it was April the 9th, but it really was a 6th. But before I got on the live, I was talking to somebody in my cell phone, just like this, I was talking on my iPad, and I had my phone. 
and the phone rung and then I looked at the phone and uh, I said, well, why are you answering that? And he said, why? And I said, because it's 666. The phone had said 666. I said, oh, no, uh-uh. I ain't answering that. I don't answer phone calls with 666. So I wind up later going on the live. Okay. And then he says, well, let's take a break. He took a break. <laughs> and then he came back. And then he said, Prince Philip died. I said, he did? He said, yeah, he did. I said, how old is that old devil? He said, 99. I said, he 99? He said, yeah. I said, oh my goodness. That's the number I saw on my phone. He said, what are you talking about? I said, today, when I was talking to somebody, the number on my phone was 666. I said, the day is April the 9th. I said, yeah, y'all eight hours ahead, but it's, it's April the 9th here. I said, the nine is a six. I said, the nine is a six. I said, Prince Philip was 99. I said, put all three of them together. It's 666. And this other friend of mine is a truther. He studies Gematria. I mean, he like really deep in Gematria. And he texts me and tells me, did you know what today is? I said, oh yeah, I got it. I was like proud of myself. I said, oh, I got it. I saw that number. I saw that number. And I started telling him, you know, what I said about Prince Philip being 99. It was a six. And April the 9th, that was a six, 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 six. He said, well, I got something that's really going to blow your mind. I said, what's that? He said, not only is April the 9th, <laughs> it's April the 9th, it's also the 99th day of the year. Six, six, six. So yeah, I get those kind of stuff quite often. <laughs> um, I'm going to say I'm used to it, but um, it's just interesting. After a while, it, it becomes interesting. It becomes interesting. Or I'll see something or I'll think about something. Or somebody, or me and somebody can be talking about something and it'll show up on the TV. <laughs> it'll show up on the TV, if that makes any sense. You understand what I'm saying?